Good afternoon, punters, and welcome to another edition of Spruikers. We're going to be talking racing with Jake Norton, and it's an agog, Jake Norton. I am so a gog. And you're, you're a gog because of the Olympics, not because of the racing, or both, maybe. I'm just a gog all around. <laughs> this is so much to be a gog about. Last good tags. We were so excited in the office, I thought we were collectively going to wet our pants. Yeah, well, I did, personally. <laughs> I don't know about you. You were doing cartwheels, up. and no. We're talking, of course, of course about the 4x2 uh, 100 metre freestyle women's relay, mm. um, in which the Aussies, uh, for your information, were matched at a whopping $200 um, pre-race and then $16 in running. Yeah, incredible stuff. Amazing stuff. But we're going to talk racing first because it's the reappearance of the Hustler. I know you have a soft spot for the Hustler. Quite and a it, firm spot, actually. Yeah, but, there's um, things rising down here. <laughs> yeah. but we're back this week. And also, Hill. and Light Fantastic as well. Yeah. I've got a soft spot for him as well. A unicorn. A beautiful horse. Yeah, that's right. It um, is the Liston Stakes at Caulfield. It's over 1,400 metres. And uh, Weekend Hustler's going to start a pretty short favourite, even though it has a foot abscess. Yeah, they burst that, I think, on Tuesday morning. And I think that's something that horses get over fairly quickly. And, and if, indeed, that has occurred, he just wins, I think. Yeah, he probably does. Jumps wins. Jumps wins. And there's the reappearance of some other very good horses as well, Mal Devian and uh, the VNC Derby winner Kibbutz. Yeah. Um, but Hustle will, sh- will start in the red, I would imagine. A dollar sixty-five in the pre- in the early markets. Light Fantastic four, Mal Devian ten, and Kibbutz fourteen. Yeah. Anything else in there that could spring us? No, I don't think so. If you can get anywhere between uh, sort of upwards towards the even money mark, about even about weekend Hustler. Um, he will be odds on, I think, irrespective. But if you can get something that's relatively juicy towards even money, take it and run, punters, because he will win. Yeah, he does look. He does look a pretty good bet, yeah. even though he's been under a bit of an injury cloud. Let's talk about the Olympics. I know, things. I know. We're almost Guilty. there. We're almost there. And the first thing on the uh, agenda, well, in fact, on the menu, yeah. is um, is Michael is Michael Phelps's diet incredible? Which is unbelievable. It sort of looks like a couple of the people in the Beehive. You know, they take into sort of this kind of stuff. Yeah. They don't look quite as fit as Michael. No, not Michael quite. Phelps. Yeah. Do you want to go through it? I'd love to. For breakfast punters, this is Michael Phelps' diet at, at the minute. Three fried egg sandwiches with cheese, lettuce, onion and mayo. A five egg omelette. A bowl of porridge. Three slices of French toast with powdered sugar. Three chop chip, chop chip, chop chip pancakes. Two cups of coffee. Then for lunch he has 500 grams of pasta. Two large ham and cheese sandwiches. A uh, 1,000 calories worth of energy drinks. Then for dinner, he has another 500 grams of pasta and a whole pizza to himself and another 1,000 calories of energy drinks. The man is an eating machine. Yeah. The, the, says all he does is eat, sleep and swim. I think uh, there's probably... Probably another S? Another, yeah, possibly, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, incredible stuff. Skulls, anyway, tags. Skulls. Yeah. Um, it surprises me, though, that he puts the sugar on the French toast. Right. I'd much rather savour it. Yeah, you're right, actually. With a bit of salt. Although a bit of, bit of maple syrup's delightful as well. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we'll get, on to, we'll get on to more serious stuff. Um, and there's so many markets that punters can bet on. It's been, it's been a dream sort of first week for punters on, on the exchange because it just turns over markets so incredibly quickly. And, yeah, that's um, great. It enables punters to have a bet and obviously turn, up, turn their money, money over very quickly. The swimming's been fantastic. Mm. There's a bit more to come. Um, the men's 50 freestyle looks a, a race in two yeah. between the enormous Frenchman mm. and the, the skinny Aussie. Yeah. The Frenchman winning the 100, and Sullivan now trying to uh, turn the tables. $1.84 in the men's 53, and Alan Bernard, uh, $3 there. Can you see it changing? I, th- I can. I think yeah. Sullivan will win the 50. I think he's a good straight swimmer. Um, the women's 50 and the 100, Trickett goes there, $1.75. She was so lucky to make the final. Yeah, I think she's been foxing. She'll win both of those. Do you reckon? Yep. Well, she's very lucky that she got in. I'm not sure. I mean, I've backed her, actually. She's been foxing, mate. And... Um, I'm so lucky that she got in because I think she was... Oh, the, I know. The Chinese girl was disqualified and... Uh, uh, anyway, Should we talk a bit more about the 4 by 200 metres? Yeah. Oh, it ruined it was, your multi. It did, I, yeah. But that's, that's, for, that's... I don't care about that. It was just so good. It was a wonderful race. Yeah. Uh, men's 1500, Hackett, $2.32 to win it for a third... It's a risk. It's cons- a risk. Concerned. Yeah, it is. He'll, he'll come down with some sort of... I think, he's, I, think he's, I think he's already got something. Um, there's a few Aussies in the markets in the athletics. Uh, Buster Mottram, of course, in the 10,000. McClellan goes in the 100 hurdles for the women. Mm-hmm. And Hooker, I think, is third favourite for the pole vault. Yep. And there's some wonderful rowing. The men's, mm. the men's boats seem to be going incredibly well. Yeah, that's right. And they're right. right in the markets in the, in the pairs, the pairs' skulls, the fours, 
and, and the eights. They've all the been eights. very impressive in the semis and all have great chances. And all at pretty, pretty reasonable prices too, Tags. Yeah, pretty reasonable prices because I think they're going to start probably second or third favourite in all of them besides the men's pairs where uh, Ginn and Free yep. are raging hot favourites there. But and we should remind punters that in any Olympic event, because they're, you're betting into international pools with Betfair, you, you tend to get fleeced and, and stitched up a bit by local bookies. So if you are going to have a bet on the Olympics, do so at Betfair because you're going to get the best prices. And if, and if you do fancy anything in running, all you've got to do is pick up the phone and give our... Very helpful help desk and Telbet operators a call and you can get on, especially during those long rowing races. Um, and a big shout out to Dave Crochet who goes in the men's pairs scales. Good oh, luck, you, Dave. Good thing. Really hope you win, far, or second fastest in the semis. So mm-hmm. um, good luck there, mate, and um, we hope you um, have a good row. We'll see you again next week with more Olympics action.